Uh, it is good to be back. I touched grass for a week, which I know, I know, I know, none of you believe me, but here we are. Just got 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Life is perfect and the weather is also perfect, which means we're all dying because even the devil doesn't want to visit my country. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about this. It all started with this. New series is going well, by the way, and they screenshot of getting banned. Okay, here we go again. A washed up peak. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, Frame got banned for no reason, and obviously, we all know how much this guy loves botting. But that being said, he didn't do anything wrong. Yet, his account was sent to the Shadow Realm. Never training woodcutting again. See, this is what happened when PK starts killing, bad things happen to the game. Framed was using the official Jagex launcher and he just made the account few days ago when the permanent panhammer came down. Luckily, Framed has the Exodia card in his back pocket, which is being a content creator and just few hours later, his ban was removed. Unbanned, I can finally play the game I love again. Thank you so much. Jagex. Also, if you look at this bottom right corner, you just know that this guy just loves botting. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, and then everybody crawled out of their holes and turns out literally hundreds of people are currently getting banned for just logging in and playing the game. Another small creator made a hardcore Iron Man and then just got banned in a week. There were accounts that got permanently banned in just two days in and there were people who were getting banned for doing uh, gold swapping in RS to old school runescape. Also, you guessed it, permanently banned. And then the person who was ranked 6 in leaderboards for Iron Man, high scores also got permanently banned. <laughs> oh my god! Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at this. I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a very serious topic. 10 years of your life and this is the result. 30,000 hours down the drain. And since then, people are getting kinda suspicious. There seems to be a lot of Burma bans for macroing major this week. I'm curious if JGX has a key performance indicator for banning bots. And I really wish I could say these are some sort of anomalies, like a one-time thing, just few row cases, but the reality is only in the month of June I've gotten dozens, and I, and I mean dozens of DMs on Twitter, through my business email, on Discord. Some guy found my personal Facebook and asked for help, and the message is always the same. Grievous, I got unfairly banned, can you please help me? And I know where they are coming from, I understand. I made a video about a few months ago where I talked about this exact same issue. I had to personally guide through a few people who got their accounts unbanned. They didn't do anything wrong, they were just playing the game and through like serious hustle and research, we managed to get in contact with the JMOD and get the accounts looked at and the ban was immediately removed with the reasoning being Hey, oopsie daisy, we got it wrong, sorry. We enjoy the game now, we removed the banner, that's it. That was the end of the conversation. And I made a video about it saying that the only reason we got help is because of our Reddit thread we made and there's no customer support that helps you out unless you're a content creator. And I'm not kidding when I say that it took us like two weeks back and forth to get the issue finally solved. Now, first of all, please, for the love of God, stop sending me DMs to get unbanned because I'm not kidding when I say this, I'm not joking. I've responded to like, I wanna say like 100 people in the last month alone, and it's always the same thing. Hey, I got unfairly banned, can you help me out, Grievous? And the answer is no, 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 I can't. I, I really can't help you out. I, I don't work at Jagex. I'm making stupid YouTube videos where I'm farming you guys for views. I literally have zero brain. I'm dumb as prick. Sorry. I can't help you. I wish I could. I really, I really wish I could. So please stop sending me messages to ask for help. I don't work for Jagex. In fact, I spent like so much of my free time trying to guide people through the right pages to the right responses that I, I don't even want to respond to my own community people anymore about this. I'm so freaking tired of this. I'm not, oh god, okay. Let's just move on, okay. But yes, I'm not kidding when I say that it's insane how many people are getting banned right now for just 
logging in. Most of them are new accounts, some of them are older accounts, but the reasoning is all the same. Macroing major, which I think is just like a fancy word for botting. Now, if I had to put my tinfoil hat on, I would say Jagex is slowly working towards a new anti-cheating system and it's a long-term project which is giving currently a lot of false positives and people are getting caught in the crossfire of Jagex banning bots. And Mod Ash actually confirmed this as well. There's something coming up in the near future, though it's a rather long-term investment rather than something that's gonna happen quickly despite the benefits it's gonna bring in the future. So what he's saying is basically they're working on a new system, but it's gonna be a long-term project. And that's good news. I mean, hopefully all of these bots that are scamming at their GE, all of these bots that are doing corrupted gauntlets, all of them are gonna get banned and we're gonna get this issue solved. But like I said, that system doesn't target only bots. You and me can get caught up in the crossfire as well. And we come back to the exact same problem. Let me show you this one email I got. I, 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 I'm not gonna read all of this entire thing. In fact, I didn't even respond to this guy myself because I swear I spent like 20 hours of my not very valuable time trying to be a customer support for people who got unfairly banned and I'm not gonna bother responding anymore. I, I don't wanna spend my free time doing custom support man okay but whatever, whatever whatever you can pause the video if you want to read it yourself and the gist of it is this an account that has been played for thousands of hours got banned the appeal got denied and now this person has literally no way to contact jagex in any shape or form and the worst part is that there's not even a way to prove that you're body if the person goes to jagex support on twitter they get a basic pre-made answer telling the guy to appeal but the problem is they can't appeal anymore so you're like in this vicious circle that you can't get out of. And you need to get like really, really lucky with your ready thread to even get an answer. Just like an hour ago. I mean, at this point, we're doing this thing live. I mean, it's happening right now. If he got enough upvotes and the thread now is currently on front page. And this is the customer support you pay for, by the way. Permanently banned, over 2k total level. False positive, same words in the exact same order. And there's no help insights now two things i want to know two things in this video firstly am i gonna get reimbursed for my awesome epic 360 degrees gamer customer support service that i've provided for hundreds of players and secondly this is like the most easiest way to lose your player base think about it would you want to keep playing if you spent months or maybe even years of your time playing this game? Suddenly your account gets removed and you don't know why and there's no way to get it back and, and uh, there's nothing to do. And you're a paying customer. I, I would just quit. Why would, you, wh why would I want to keep playing the game that way? It makes no sense, right? But that also means less people are going to watch my videos. And I, I don't want that. I, I want you to guys keep watching my videos because, you know, this, this, this is my job now. And I know it seems like I don't care that much about this issue, but trust me. I've really, I've really tried to find a solution for the past few months to this, this exact same thing that you see on this Reddit thread. Because I really do want people to get help. I do. I want everything to be great because if more people play this game, uh, that means also I get more views. G kinda, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I even DM'd more Trident asking for help. I Literally, how can I help to make this situation better? Because like, I, I got so tired of all of these people who DM me, but I didn't have an answer. But of course, he didn't respond to me. I get it. There's a lot of other things going on, but that we can't discuss right now. But my point is, I, I, I don't have an answer, man. I, I wish Jagex spent more of that profit they make every year on helping their players. That's it. I don't know, man. God, this video started so well. I just like, I, I wish everything was okay. Like, I wish everything was fine. Like, I want everyone to enjoy this game as much as I do. That's it. But if you get banned and everything seems hopeless, I, I, I also totally get why you would never want to log in anymore. Anyways, as usual, make noise because that seems to be the only way to get answers. And I know this is all super negative. All of it seems super unfortunate but like what other option there is left here like i i genuinely don't know i mean you can even twist this in a like a really messed up way 
Paying customers, not getting help they deserve. How's that for a headline? Okay, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go make love to the sun. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good to be back. Maybe. I don't know. I might get banned tomorrow. We'll see. Mwah.